Well, in other important space news, what happens if a rogue asteroid sets its sights on Earth? Sounds like the Hollywood movie, of course, Armageddon, right? Well, NASA is testing a way to hit asteroids head on, and the next step began early this morning. Well, just before 1 a.m. our time, NASA successfully launched what's known as DART. This double asteroid redirection test is the first of its kind. It's a spacecraft which is heading towards the asteroids and will hurl itself about 15,000 miles per hour with the idea of trying to deflect by colliding into the small moonlit rock in a double asteroid system. I talked with NASA's Harrison Agrusa, a member of the DART investigation team himself, to learn more about this truly historic endeavor. Listen. Um, but we realized, you know, I think especially in the uh, mid-90s and early 2000s, so before I was uh, involved in anything like this, so we were starting to discover a lot of near-Earth asteroids. As telescope technology got better and better, we could detect smaller and smaller asteroids, and, and we found out there's a lot of them. And so it's really important to find them all uh, and characterize their orbits and, you know, to, so we know whether or not they're ever going to hit Earth. And then if we ever do find something uh, that could hit Earth, we need to have the ability to do something about it because an asteroid impact is truly the only natural disaster we can prevent. For example, you know, if a volcano erupts or an earthquake starts, there's no stopping it. We can't do, as humans, we're powerless. But an asteroid is the only thing we can actually stop. You know, and, and the dinosaurs weren't able to do that. Uh, and we should uh, you know, do something about it if, we, if we're able to. We are constantly being bombarded by things all of the time, a lot smaller, but we are constantly being hit by something on our planet, right? Y yeah, I think it's something like every single day, uh, Earth is bombarded by something like about 100 tons of material. It's mostly dust and very small rocks. Um, but the things that you know that could cause like catastrophic disruption are you know these are these are types of things that happen on the order of thousands of years, if not even rarer. So it's a pretty rare event. But then again, if it's something we can prevent, we ought to do it. And you can hear my entire interview about this DART mission on our website after our show this morning, CW39.com.